I know what you are wondering. I clicked on this video that says Mini Brands Ultimate Collector's Guide with a cute little thumbnail. Well, if you are here just for that part, I added chapters to the video so you can just hover over the timeline until you get there or you can go in the description and click on the timestamp that will take you to the part you are interested in. But uh, honestly, in my opinion, I think you'll enjoy watching the entire video. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is pack all the mini brand that you guys won. Uh, here I have eight series that I opened in the previous video. If you didn't watch it and you wanna check it out, please go do that. They are all nicely packed in these uh, small Ziploc baggies. I just wanna say thank you to everyone that participated in the giveaway and congratulations to the winners. Let's start packing and sending all these minis to their new homes. The mini fashion ones go to special crafts and more and I'm just going to put them in this bubble mailer. Honestly, out of all of them, I think these are the easiest to pack. Next up is Toy Mini Brand Series 2 and they go to Chrome Dokuro or Chrome Dokuro, not sure. I will just leave these in the Toy Mini Brand Series 2 cardboard box that the balls came in. There's a little space here at the top, so I'm just going to add some bubble wrap because I don't want them to move around in the box too much. Now let's add some tape and it's good to go. Next up, we have these three tubes that the balls came in, so I'm thinking I can probably use them as a container to ship the minis. Of course, they are see-through, so I don't want to send them like that, but I do have an idea. I'm just going to measure the height of the box and trace a straight line so we can use it as a guide to cut it with a pair of scissors. As you can see, I don't need the whole thing, so I'm just going to cut some more out of it. So the idea I had was to roll this piece of paper and then put it on the inside of the container. And then, as you can see, you cannot see inside anymore. Except that I missed the part where you could still see through the bottom and the top, but that's an easy fix. I'll just use a pen and draw around the bottom of the container, cut out a circle, and then put it all the way at the bottom of the container. Perfect. Now I'll use the same method for the top. Let's add the minis. This is series two, by the way, and the lucky winner is Shanina Reyes. Congratulations. Again, there is some space left here at the top, so I'm just gonna add another piece of bubble wrap. Now that the container is closed, I'm adding some tape around it. By the way, good luck opening this. It is a pain, but you don't want anyone snooping through your mini brands while they are on their way to you. I'm repeating the same process for mini brand series one, which go to Juan Renteria. Congratulations. And then the Toy Mini Brand Series 1, which go to Amanda Libby. Congratulations to you too, Amanda. By the way, I think that shipping them like this is so cool. Now that they're done, it's time to move on and pack the remaining minis. I got three of these boxes from a friend that was going to throw them away. The amount of minis that I'm giving away makes this box a perfect fit for this Series 3 mini brands that go to Angie Riberti. Of course, there had to be a little bit of space at the top and we're going to fill that with some packed air, aka bubble wrap. Now it's time to tape it shut and repeat the process for the Disney mini brands. Congratulations, Kareen Baker. Among all the Disney minis that you have in here, you are also getting this wonderful gold Stormtrooper, which I'm a bit jealous to be honest, even though I don't collect them. Last but not least, my favorite series, the gold rush goes to Clau2189. Exactly the same process. Now that they're all packed, it's time to print the shipping labels and slap them on. And here they are, all ready for travel except for Mini Brand Series 1 because I was still waiting for Juan Renteria to get back to me. A few hours later, I got the details I needed and then took all these to the post office.
My timing couldn't be any better because I was also able to pick up my mini brand's ultimate collector's guide package. I cannot wait to get home later today and open this. Okay, I'm passing this five below and I was like, you know what, let me just go in and see if they have anything new because, you know, I wanted to get something sweet to have at home for my stash. And you know how I am, I like my sweets and I got some things here. And while I was in there, I saw the mini brands series three, you know, the, the pouch bags. Yeah, you know, the bags that I was complaining about because you get three minis and you know, it's $5 and most of them are just doubles and all that stuff. Well, I am, um, I'm gonna take my words back. Look what I got in a bag. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I got a gold, holy guacamole. What are the freaking chances? And if you follow me and you watch my videos, you know I really needed one of these. And then there's only two more I need to complete Series 3 collection. And I really, really want to complete Series 3 collection before Series 4 comes out. Because yes, there's a, there's a word on the street that Series 4 is coming out soon. Yeah, so I take back everything I said in that video where I don't like them. And you know, you're getting a lot of doubles. Apparently you're getting some, some rare ones in there as well. Because this is pretty hard to find. Yeah, I was incredibly surprised. I don't even care about these other two, honestly, because the gold one, this is this is what we really needed. I didn't even plan on filming this. I just wanted to open for myself just to see. But since uh, since we got this one, I was like, I need to let you guys know. So yeah, Five Below came through. All right, here we are back home. It's time to open this. I'm so excited to see how they look. Um, Honestly, if they fit in this box, I don't know. I was expecting them to be larger, but I guess we're going to find out. Oh, they are pretty large. All right, so before we open this, it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Like first impression, I think it's cool. We have also a mini right over here. I really hope it's a rare one because, yeah, we need two more minis to complete you know, the collection. So that'd be great. But just uh, wanted to let you know that I got these off from eBay. Initially, I ordered these on Toy Wiz and they said they were going to ship them by the end of April or something like that. So it was like a pre-order. And honestly, they didn't come through. It was like the first week of May, I think, and they still didn't ship it. I looked on eBay. I saw someone had them in stock. I just canceled my Toy Wiz order and I ordered from this person on eBay and they got here quicker. I think they were also cheaper than that because I paid more on Toy Wiz because I wanted to get them quick. So I think I paid like 27 or 30 bucks just for shipping so that, you know, they can get here as quick as possible. And yeah, they, they disappointed me a bit. Anyway, I got two of them. They are slightly different colors. I mean, they're different colors, not slightly. <laughs> one is uh, a purple one and this one is a pink one. Let's go with pink since this was the first one right over here. As you can see, they put some kind of tape. I think it's the strong one. I'm going to try to just remove it like this with my fingers. Otherwise, we're just going to cut it off. Okay, that's not bad. Comes off pretty easy. There we go. That was easy. There's no, eh, there's a little bit of a mark here, but uh, here's a cool trick. Always use the same piece of, you know, tape or whatever you remove. Use the same piece to actually remove whatever is left. So if I do this a few times, See how it's starting to come off? There we go. There's nothing there. Yeah, you don't need to use any goo gun or whatever the other ones are called. I, I don't even think you can use it on this actually because it's it's like a cardboard kind of thing. Oh, that is neat. Oh, I thought, oh, I get it now. Okay, the sticker was here. I thought it's on, on the actual package. Seems like we got the, a date here as usual. This is uh, 2021, uh, September 23. So they've been producing these for quite a while now. Yeah, this is not good guys. Based on how it feels, I think it's the, the Swizzles Love Hearts. Oh, close enough. It's the Swizzles Drumstick. 
in my opinion, whenever they do these like one mini, they should put more exclusive ones or the ones that are really hard to find. I don't know. I would just encourage people to get these, you know, you can actually use this to actually um, put some cool minis in here, like the ones you like the most, maybe. I think it would fit like two or three of them. Let's see. I promise I'm not dragging this video. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. I just want to see how these will fit. Let's say these three are my favorite minis. Well, the holy guacamole gold one is my favorite mini right now. But uh, let's say all three of them are my favorite. See, you can kind of put them in there. And then you can put this back on like that and you have your minis there. I think this would be a perfect type of gift if you know someone that loves mini brands to actually get them one of these, remove whatever mini is in there and add, you know, the minis that you think they like and then gift it to them like this. Right. All right. Enough talking. Let's see what we got. Um, it's time to hashtag play with your food. Hashtag stock up. Ultimate collector's guide, one mini brand included, collect them all. Got hashtag FOMO when it comes to tiny things. Fear no more. This guide gives you all the info you need to collect every mini and check them off as you go. You can search, shop, swap, and share your stack online. Wait, what? Search, shop, swap? Like, is there a place where you can swap these? I mean, other than Facebook. First page, we got Mini Brand Series 1. The guide, I won't lie, it looks pretty cool. Colors are pretty okay. They're not amazing, but um, they look good. One complaint I have is, so this is kind of like a gloss type of paper, right? And then in here, it almost feels like a, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it's like a very matte finish it's almost like a newspaper not newspaper maybe like a, a magazine like an old school kind of magazine not the one with the shiny pages so it's, uh, it's quite thin but then again they had to probably fit a lot of things in here ah uh, this is interesting it also says here uk collector's case exclusive i'm thinking about opening some mini brands from the uk but so far i didn't find any toy store that would ship to the us so yeah i don't know how i'm gonna do that Okay, it's still... Wait a minute, this is a bit confusing. Is this? Okay. This is series one. And series one ends right here. And I think this is series two. I wish they would have kind of separated them a bit more. Like, make it in a way that series one doesn't go on the next page. And then, you know, it's followed by series two. Like, just have them somehow all on, you know two pages so series two is here um i already have all of these i already have all of the series one and then we're getting to series three down here and the only ones i'm missing from series three right now is the um, metallic apple spice and i also need the this one the royal uh, strawberry gelatin but the regular one i do have the glow in the dark one but i don't have the regular one and Honestly, I've looked online. It seems like people are having a really, really difficult time finding this one. To be honest, I don't know if anyone found it. A lot of people just got glow in a dark one. I'm curious if it's just a mistake or something. It's interesting how they show you like at the bottom. See right here. It says USA Series 3 and then UK Series 2 because they came in the UK a bit later. So I think they're one series behind. Oh, this is definitely UK version, right? Yeah. Those look like some awesome minis and I really wish I had some. Especially these, like the, um, the toothpaste. I think there's a toothbrush somewhere. Yeah, there it is. No. Is that a toothbrush? No, that's a toothbrush. I don't know if that's a toothbrush. It might be. Oh, and look at these ones over here. I like how they made like a lot of um, products from Heinz. And then even the ketchup looks different. I don't know. I really, really want to. I wish I could just buy like a whole case of uh, mini brands series. I don't even know what series is this. Series two. I heard there's like a UK series two wave two. I wish I could buy a full case and actually open them, but there's nobody that ships to the US. Maybe I could go on the Facebook groups and see if anyone is willing to buy some and send me a full case and I'm going to just, you know, send them the money. And then here, let's see. Sort out which many stuff you want to trade with friends. You can trade anything you have extras of. So circle all the extras on this page and get your swap on. 
So based on this phrase and based on the fact that you have these minis shown here, right? And it says circle all the extras on this page. So they know that these are repeating the most. Because otherwise, why would they say circle all the extras on this page, right? That makes sense. Each column, row and mini grid should contain these nine mini food products. Write the name or draw a picture of every missing item to complete your collection. It's like a Sudoku with mini brands. Okay. Memory test. How good is your memory when it comes to mini stuff? Take 30 seconds to look at this page of hashtag tiny things, then cover it up and answer the questions on the opposite page. Okay, let's try this. Let's see the questions. Are the shopping baskets red or yellow? Yellow. How many Almond Breeze cartons are there? Oh, come on. How would I know? Uh, 10? Should I look now? Get your friends to test their memories too and see how they stack up. So I need a friend to do this, but I don't have friends. I'm just kidding. I do have friends. Or do I? Yes, I do have friends. How, how long does the red beans and rice take to cook? What does this have to do with this image? Oh, I get it because it says over there. Okay, so they're trying to show off that like it's so detailed. You can actually see how much it takes to cook. Okay, what's in the TJ Friday's cheese dip apart from artichoke? Spinach, got that one. How many apple pie spice jars are there? Uh, four. One, two, three. Darn it. Oh, four. That's crazy. I just guessed, honestly. I didn't, I know there was like a few at the bottom. The honeycomb cereal tastes like big, real, what? Honeycomb? It's like big, real honey flavor. That doesn't make sense. Is it just me or that's like a, it's just, it just sounds a little bit dumb. Honeycomb. Big real honey flavor. What? Okay, next is, is the almond breeze sweetened or unsweetened? Well, there's the original one, but then there's most, most of them are unsweetened. Yep, unsweetened original. Oh wait, actually, original is unsweetened. That's interesting. And last question. Complete the name of the cereal. Honey bunches of oats. That was easy. Honey bunches of oats. Okay. Over here, we have unwrap your secrets. Your kitchen cupboard secrets say a lot about you. Reveal your truths. Your kitchen cupboard secrets say a lot about you. Reveal your truths in this mini quiz and ask the same questions of your friend. So what do I need to do? Um, name the kitchen cupboard product you can't live without. From all these over here? Um, probably the the poppers or the chi or the the wings. What would you guys put over here? Since you guys are my friends, what would you put here? Next up, let's see. There's one product always left in your cupboard because you never want to eat it. What is it? Out of these over here, it probably the almond breeze. Yeah. And then the last one, is there a real life product you wish existed that doesn't? Is there a real life product you wish existed that doesn't? Meaning like in many brand form? I'm gonna go with that. Um, Kit Kat would be cool. Like a, a bar of Kit Kat. I don't know. Damn, many brands you're putting me on the spot. I don't know. There's a lot. I know I mentioned in other videos, but I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments which real life product you wish existed that doesn't. Meaning like which real life product would you like to be in mini brand form? I'm curious to see what you guys pick. My pick will be Kit Kat. I'm going to stick with Kit Kat. And maybe some bottles of pop, like a Coca-Cola bottle. Or you know what? The 12 pack cans of pop. Maybe like make them this small. That'd be cool. All right, let's see what we have next over here. Stuck up and snap. Show off your fave miniature kitchen cupboard essential. Draw it in the box. Write a super cool caption. Then take a snap and share it on social media. Um. Okay. And the last page, we have the answers uh, to the two games that were on page 10 and page 11. It looks cool. Obviously, I have complaints. Okay, first complaint, this should have been a different type of page, like make it more quality. Okay, second complaint is they should have every series on two pages like this. So once you open it like this, you should see both series. Um, you should see the whole series, like series one should not continue on this other page. And then I, I guess the last complaint is when you see ultimate collector's guide, right? You expect that it's the collector's guide that has every series that's released. And here we literally have series one, series two, and series three. So where is Gold Rush? Where is Disney? Where is Mini Fashion? Or is it because they're not the original mini brands? They're just like, but Gold Rush are, right? I mean, I don't know. 
What do you guys think? Why didn't they put all the other ones in here? Because we have the Gold Rush ones, we have Toy Mini Brand Series 1, Toy Mini Brand Series 2, and then we have the, the Disney, the Mini Fashion. So yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed, but not, not too bad. So you can decide for yourself if you want to get one. I don't know. It's up to you. So you might be wondering, why do I have two? Well, I think you do have a clue of the reason why I have two collector's guides. Why did I order two? And that's because I want to give this one away. If you want it, there's uh, just a few things you need to do. First, you need to subscribe unless you're already subscribed and like the video. Second, you need to leave a comment for this video, whatever you want. Just make sure you include the word giveaway. And three, the most important step is to email me so I can get back to you if you win. Please make sure you do all of these three steps if you want to enter the giveaway. That is all you need to do. But there's a couple more things that you need to be aware of. You need to be 18 or older to participate. This is worldwide, so everyone can enter the draw. You have 48 hours to leave a comment and enter the draw. So that's until Monday, 8 a.m. Chicago time. So make sure you do the math based on where you're from. If you get an email from me that you want, please respond within 24 hours, otherwise I'll have to select someone else. You can find all the giveaway rules in the description box. And if you're watching this video at a later time and missed the giveaway, I still have some good news for you. I'll be doing this again, so all you need to do is just subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. That's about it. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, and one more thing, I won't reply to your email unless you won. The last time, I replied to every single email and it took way too long. I'm really sorry. I guess that if you don't hear from me by Tuesday, it's probably because you didn't win the giveaway. All right, so now it's time for that segment I call comment shout out. As you know, if you watched my previous video, I will do a comment shout out in every video, hopefully. We have a few comments. We're gonna shout out some comments. Sometimes it might be one, sometimes it might be more like in this instance. Comments don't have to be anything in particular, so don't try to, I don't know, crack the code to see what comments you need to leave in order to be picked. It can be honestly anything. If it's a question and I wanna answer it for everyone, it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna pick that one. If it's something cool that you said, or if it's a cool story that you told, I can pick that one as well. If it's something nice you said to me, that can also be in there. Even if it's something not so nice, I can probably still pick up one of those comments for a shout out. So there's no criteria whatsoever. We have four comments over here. So let's start with the first one. Okay, this is from Melissa, Melissa, Melissa Coat. Pretty, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Pretty boring. Okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. Thank you for leaving me a comment. All right, next comment comes from Marie Woodward. Marie leaves me a lot of comments, so let's see what this one says. Hello, GB. I'm a little late to the opening, but I wouldn't miss this for all the mini brands in the world. Yeah, I got the hint, lol. This was regarding a, a, a comment she left in a different video and I was hinting that I'm gonna do a giveaway, I think. I'm just glad that I arrived, not feeling too good the last couple of days. Sorry to hear that. But I felt a little better tonight. Gosh, those old mini brands made a comeback. Thank you for sharing and enjoy your week. And then we got a butterfly emoji, sunflower emoji. I don't know what that is. Uh, peacock, parrot dragon or should i say dragon head and then a dragon by the way the perfume bottles smell just like perfume so she's referring here to the to the mini fashion the little bottles of perfume you get i already sent the mini fashion that i had on their way to the new home but i think i still have some let me go check yes i do these are the mini fashion accessories that i have from i think that first time i opened mini fashion so let's pick one i hope they didn't lose their scent let's do this one Oh my God. Wait, is that the thing or is it the lotion on my hands? No, I don't know if it's the perfume or it's actually just the lotion that I put on. Kind of, it's not very strong, but I think there's a, whoops. I think there's a scent there. Maybe if I try a different one that has a stronger scent or maybe the fact that it's been so long, they kind of lost their scent. I don't even know if these count or just the ones that have the cap on. I think they do. Jesus, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Because it's the lotion on my hands, I can I really can't tell. It's just throwing me for a loop. All right, my hands are washed. Let's see if we can, I don't know, if I can smell something now. So let's try this one first again. Damn it, now my hands smell like soap. What about this one? 
fries. I don't know. Mine, mine are not smelling like anything. Let's try this one. This is a different one. Okay, this is the last one I'm trying, and if it doesn't smell like anything, it's probably because they've been sitting in here for a while. Or maybe something is wrong with me. I don't feel anything. I mean, I it might be placebo. I do feel like a very faint type of smell, I guess. I don't know. If I get more mini fashion, I'm going to try with those. Maybe the newer ones. I mean, the, you know, the freshly opened ones will actually smell like something. Thank you, Marie, for your comment. All right, next comment shout out goes to... Paisley Parish. Have you ever checked out Super Impulse brand stuff? They do the world's smallest toys and wacky packages toys. They are freaking awesome. They are fully functioning miniatures. Paisley, I did hear about... I didn't hear about Super Impulse. I don't know what that is, but I did hear about the world's smallest toys and then the wacky packages toys. So like I said, I, I, I know about them, but I never opened some. Maybe I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna do some of that in, in a future video. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments. And the last comment shout out goes to Oops. Freckletopia. Do you sell your duplicates? Um I did sell them once on my eBay page. And then before that, I would sell them in bulk to a friend. And now lately, since you know the previous video, I think I'm just gonna give them away. I'm gonna keep some for different projects and just give the rest of them away to you guys. So, all right, that was comment shout out. Once again, if you wanna be part of this and get your comment shout outed, is that a word? Probably. In the future video, all you need to do is just leave a comment. Oh, and also subscribe and click the notifications bell so you get notified when I post the next video so that you can see if your comment was picked for comment shout out. Uh, I feel like I talked so much today and at the same time, I feel like I said same things so many times. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as usual, you guys stay golden until the next video. Bye bye. I might just cut a lot of talking from this out. Okay, that was bad. <clears throat> Again. Each column, each column, each column, row, and mini grade. Your, okay, your kitchen cupboards, your, your kitchen cupboard. Have you ever checked out super, have you, sorry.